It's a 636 and it is about to get really busy on the roads around our beaches and our theme parks. It's spring break time and this year many of the school districts and colleges will be having spring break at the same time and that presents an unusual set of problems. Colonel Chad Croniser, Hillsborough <laughs> County Sheriff's Office, in this morning to talk about it. Hey, Chad. Good morning, Russell. Good morning, Laura. You have divided this up with tips for parents and students, and let's start with the parents. We can put them up on the screen, but first and foremost, you say be involved. I agree. I think my mother-in-law Candy has a great saying, you are who you surround yourself with. And that couldn't be more true for our children. Know who they're hanging with. Call, call, their other, call other parents, network with them, know where they're going, know who they're with. And I think that's, that's probably the, the biggest one. Know, know that there's consequences to, to making bad decisions. I think that's important. Um, remind them at the very end of regardless of what they do, um, regardless of their activity, regardless of any decision they make, make sure our children know that we're only a phone call or a text away. And, and when you talk about consequences, I mean, you need to talk to them about uh, drinking and drugs, don't you? Russell, this is, this is I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't emphasize it enough. This is going to be especially unique this year because USF, University of Tampa, HCC, and a lot of the school districts here in Tampa Bay are all off at the same time this week. The roadways are going to be busy. Listen, for all you spring breakers, I beg you, turn the volume up on the TV. A lot of police departments are going to have a lot of dedicated resources out there looking for impaired drivers. And it's not that we want to arrest our, our young adults. It's that we want to protect everybody else. So please have a plan before you leave the house, before you take that first sip of a drink, have a plan to get home safely. Let's talk specifically then about what the students, the kids should be doing out there. You say avoid the crowd mentality that leads to, uh, to trouble. Peer pressure is always trouble. Our kids have to be smarter than knowing, hey, listen, I'm going to do this because this is the hip thing to do. This is what the crowd is doing. Uh, I think that's very important. Uh, check in with your parents. Let your parents know where you're at, you're okay, you're safe, that you're fine. Stick with a friend. Uh, again, consider the consequences. Don't drink and drive. And Russell, I, I never knew this was an issue until we started researching this topic. But every year during spring break, mm -hmm. we have a, a spike in the emergency, in emergency room visits because of children who, who think they're having a great time and they forget to put sunscreen on. I guess mm. none of us want to think about it, but very important. Uh, every, we all know the consequences of sunburn, probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me, uh, fortunately. You know, of the things you've sent, and because and, and, it just so many news stories we've done over the years of, of, of horrible things that have happened, uh, of sticking with a friend. I mean, we, we just got too many stories we've seen along the way of, of people being kidnapped, people missing and losing their lives and things like that, and, and heartbroken families. I think that's a really important thing to drive home. Russell, their safety in numbers. Always stick with a friend. Yeah. Uh, one little, and we get a little bit of advice also for uh, everybody else. Uh, property crimes and, uh, are up during spring break kids some kids just don't have anything to do as excited as our spring breakers are and parents are they worked hard hey listen enjoy this holiday but you have to remember there's criminals out there just as excited to take advantage of our young people make sure you you lock up your belongings if you're going to a theme park going to the mall if you're at the beach make sure you lock your car door lock up your belongings to make sure when you return you still have them Hey, Chad, good to have you back in the studio. You've been on tape for the last uh, few weeks, so it's good to have you here. It's been, I can't say it hasn't been nice sleeping in, but great, great to see everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was. I'm glad, glad we got you up early. Good to see you, my friend. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.